Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. We're on day 9 of our series looking at Jesus in the Old Testament and the conversation on the road to Emmaus. Today we're going to consider that Jesus has our Redeemer. Our key verse today is found in Ruth. It's chapter 2 and verse 20. So Ruth 2 and verse 20 says, The Lord bless him, Naomi said to her daughter-in-law. He has not stopped showing his kindness to the living and the dead, she added, that this man is our close relative. He is one of our guardian redeemers. We can sometimes approach the story of Ruth like a romance, but the book has much to teach us. The story of Ruth begins with death. Eliamech and his two sons died, leaving Naomi and her two Moabite daughter-in-laws, Oprah and Ruth, hungry and desperate. Naomi sets out to return to her homeland in Bethlehem and tells her daughter-in-laws to do the same, but Ruth refuses and travels back with her to Bethlehem. Naomi sends Ruth out then to, into the fields to pick up leftover grain left behind from the harvesters. This is how desperate they were. They were searching for something to eat. And as it happened, Ruth begins to glean in the field of a man named Boaz. This man Boaz is a relative of Naomi from a clan of her late husband. Desperate and searching for food, Ruth finds her redeemer. Ruth couldn't redeem herself. She needed somebody else to do it for her, just like we do. And Boaz's role as a guardian redeemer we see Christ who purchased the church to be his bride. In Ruth 4 verses 4 to 10 alone the word redeem occurs over six times. The word redeem means to buy something back. That's what Boaz did for Ruth and that's what Jesus has done for us. Ephesians 1 verse 7 says, In him we have redemption through the blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. The Bible teaches that in Christ he has redeemed us from the grave, Psalm 49 15. From death, Hosea 13.14. From the law, Galatians 4.5. From all wickedness, Titus 2.14. From the curse, Galatians 3.13. From sin, Colossians 1.14. And from the pit, Psalm 103, verse 4. With Hanny Crosby, we should all be able to sing, Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer. For no one else could do what He's done. Christ has redeemed us by giving His life to bring us back to God. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank You again. For your love and for your grace. Father, we thank you that we've been redeemed in Christ. That we couldn't redeem ourselves. We just couldn't pay the price by anything that we achieved, by anything that we've done, by anything that we earned. But Christ did it for us. Father, we thank you that he has redeemed us from death, from the law, from the pit, from wickedness. He's redeemed us to be his bride and to live in union with him. Father, we thank you so much for this, for this blessing, for this privilege. Father, we thank you for what it means to be redeemed. In Jesus' name. Amen.